Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about an issue that I've been experiencing with my Phantom 2. Uh, now, uh, prior to doing the, uh, the uh, latest update from BGI, um, my Phantom was rock steady. Um, Alright, so I went ahead and performed the update and uh, immediately after I noticed that uh, my Phantom started sort of drifting and it, it goes into this, this round circle uh, pattern. Uh, now I've looked online and uh, I think I think this uh, this issue is commonly referred to as the toilet bowl effect. Now, as I mentioned uh, prior to doing the update, I had no issue at all. Now um, I decided to uh, to go to my local park and uh, shoot this video. Uh, pretty sunny day, so you can see the actual shadow of the Phantom on the ground. And I sort of positioned myself uh, holding my iPad and to make sure that I wasn't moving the iPad so that you guys can see exactly what's going on in terms of the positioning of the Phantom. Um, I'm also not using the remote. Uh, basically, the remote is on the ground and I'm holding the iPad so that you guys can get a perspective of how the Phantom is uh, moving in relation to the background. Um, take a look and uh, let me know if any of you guys are experiencing uh, that kind of issue out there. Uh, the other thing that I would like to mention is that is that I've noticed that the problem seems to be uh, sort of severe at the beginning. Let's say the first three minutes of flight um, seems to be very severe and then uh, suddenly it would sort of decrease. However, uh, the positioning issue uh, doesn't seem to decrease at all. I've also noticed that the Phantom would randomly go up and it will go down. Now, um, as I mentioned, when you're watching the video, um, I'm not touching the remote. In fact, the remote is on the ground. All I'm doing is holding the iPad and you will see this inconsistency in terms of positioning hold. I'm in GPS mode. The Phantom would go up, down, uh, it would sort of like uh, goes left and right. It's it's sort of weird. I've never experienced this prior to this update. So the video is about five minutes long. So take a look at it. Uh, let me know if any of you out there is experiencing the same kind of issues. Okay, there's there's one last thing that I forgot to mention. Um, I know I've talked a lot about the stability of the Phantom, but I've also noticed that. Uh, the Phantom is slightly wobbling. Uh, you could see on the video that that it's not as rock steady and smooth as it was uh, 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 before. I mean, I know you guys didn't see how the Phantom was behaving before, but I can tell you when I initially got the Phantom prior to the update, um, um, the, the flight was very, very smooth. And also you could see that, that the, the Phantom uh, was holding its positioning uh, at all times. Uh, so basically, if you take a closer look at the video, you'll, you'll see how, how, well, actually, you can actually hear the sound of the, uh, of the motors compensating, I guess, compensating from left to right and up and down motion. Um, I do not believe, from what I've been reading online, I do not believe that this is an issue uh, with the compass. The reason why I'm saying that is because um, I went ahead and I did um, the IMU cat calibration. I did uh, multiple and multiple times I did the compass calibration. Um, I get a solid green line. Every, everything responds as uh, as it should. Um, I believe that this is probably an issue directly related with the firmware itself of the NASA. For some reason, there some, seems to be some kind of conflict that's affecting the positioning uh, the, uh, hold and GPS. Um, now, I know that it, it's an issue also with True North uh, in relation to the aircraft, but I do not believe that it is an issue that can be resolved simply by, by doing tricks or by recalibrating your compass, recalibrating your, your, your IMU doesn't seem to have uh, uh, an effect. 
Um, I've looked online and there seem to be a lot of people saying that, well, uh, you can you, you, you can try again recalibrating your IMU, uh, recalibrating or repositioning your compass. I think they're all anecdotal with, uh, uh, um, uh, stories. I don't think that there's anything scientific about that. Uh, I do believe from experience that this is definitely an issue related with the NASA V2 uh, uh, update. I think some way, somehow, the firmware screwed something with the NASA. Now, um, when you take uh, the Phantom um, off the GPS mode and you go into attitude mode, uh, well, what would happen is that it becomes a lot steadier, but it will drift, obviously, with the wind. Um, now, as soon as you switch it back to to um, to GPS mode, that's when you start getting this this toilet bowl or inconsistency in terms of the actual whole the positioning of the Phantom. Anyways, that's my opinion about it. If you guys have um, have any uh, any issues at all uh, relating to what I've just uh, described to you. Please, um, you know, uh, reply and let me know. Uh, let me know your experiences. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye.